Today we'll go ahead with application of integrals. What is the equation of ellipse? x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Area under the curve and x axis. Area under the curve and x axis is integration of x limits dx y. So required area is 4 times area of this. So this is one part. This is area bounded by the curve and what axis? Either x axis or y axis you can do. I'll find x axis only. That will be better. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, we'll go ahead with application of integrals, finding area using applications. So basic conics. In my last class, I taught two types of parabola. Type 1 parabola, type 2. Now, circle first. So, circle with center origin. Circle with center origin. See, in 11th standard, or in your first year, you have studied center origin. What is a circle with center origin? So, x square plus y square is equal to r square, radius square, or a square. You can also call it as a square. Means, if you take a center circle, the center of the circle is origin, radius is what? A units or R units. So, this is a diagram. Circle with center what? Origin. So, x axis, y axis, y axis and x axis and this is a circle and center of the circle is origin. And this equation you should know. What is x square plus y square equal to r square represents? Equation of circle whose center is origin. Or if they want equation of circle with center origin, this is the equation. And then ellipse. You studied in 11th standard ellipse equation. So, ellipse, you know, we have two ellipse, horizontal and vertical. Horizontal means major axis is a part of x axis. So, here to here length is a, here to here length is b. Equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. This is the second basic. What is the equation of ellipse? x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. And third, integral, specific integral formula and which you have learnt that is integration of root of a square minus x square is dx is what is the answer for this okay i'll write it little bigger so now integration of root of a square means any constant square minus x square dx. You have learnt in specific integrals. We have even derived using parts. What is the answer for this? Answer for this is x by 2. See, first thing is x by 2 into given question root of a square minus x square. Then plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. So this formula of basic specific integrals plus c if it is indefinite plus c. So this formula I should know. What is integration of root of a square minus x square dx? x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus c. Before I will start the session, before we go to the problems of the exercise, we will we'll recollect the basics of 11th standard whatever you have learned. One is equation of circle with center origin. Equation of circle with center origin is x square plus y square is equal to r square. Means any constant here. And equation of ellipse. This is a diagram for ellipse whose center is again origin. And equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. As we are discussing area, all of you know what is area of circle? Area of circle is what? Pi r square. This is area of circle. So area of ellipse also, area is interesting. A, B, pi. Because here A and B are two different lengths. It's not like radius. That's why here area of uh, ellipse is AB pi. Why we need this means after you integrate, final answer should match with this. So now memorize the formula. What is integration of root of A square minus X square DX? Integration is X by 2. Given question, write as it is. X by 2 root of A square minus X square plus A square by 2, the constant by 2, sine inverse X by A plus C. These three basics, if you know, in today's class, we'll learn areas related to this. So now, sample problem. Find the area of region bounded by the curve x square plus y square is equal to, say, I'm taking a sample problem. It's not any problem in the textbook. Say, x square plus y square is equal to 25. 
So now we will find area of circle bounded by area of region bounded by circle x square plus y square is equal to 25. So they have not mentioned circle curve they told. So as soon you see it is a circle with center R in. So now this is the circle x axis y axis origin. Now I call this point as A, I call this point as B, O A B. Now x square plus y square is equal to 25 is a circle with center origin. This is the curve circle with center that they do not give. That is why I gave the basic. What is the basic? x square plus y square equal to r square represents a circle whose center is origin radius is A. So now in the place of r square it is in the form x square plus y square is equal to r square. In the place of r square you have 25. What is r now? r is root 25, r is 5, radius is 5. So means here to here it is 5. Now from the given equation, so now I want to find the area. So I will find only this area. Using integration we need to find. You know area of circle is pi r square. So see you can see this circle is divided into four equal parts. This is one part, second part, third part, fourth part. So now can I say and from the first I will also get the value of y. From the given curve always take the value of y. What is the given curve? x square plus y square is equal to 25. What is y square? y square is 25 minus x square. What is y? Positive root of y square, 25 minus x square plus or minus but I will take only in first quadrant I will take positive. So now required area. Required area a is equal to can I say 4 times required area total circle is 4 times OAB OAB 4 times area of OAB area of OAB O to A B O O A B O that is 4 times you can observe this is the area under the curve and x axis only the upper part this part is the area under the curve and what axis? This is area under the curve and what axis? X axis. This O, A, B, O. Area under the curve and X axis. Yesterday I taught it is integration of X1 to X2, Y dx. That is, that is, A is equal to 4 times integration of X1 to X2, Y dx. Area under the curve and X axis. Area under the curve and X axis is integration of X limits dx y. x varies from where to where. So in this curve 0 to a this is 0 this is radius 5. So x varies from 0 to 5. x varies from what 0 to 5. y dx. So get the value of y. What is value of y? Root of 25 minus x square. Root of what? 25 minus x square. So instead of y I will write root of 25 minus x square dx. So now it is in the form of root of 0 to 5 root of 5 square minus x square dx. It is in the form of a square minus x square. So answer is x4 outside as it is into x by 2 x by 2 root of 5 square minus 25 plus a square by 2 plus a square is 25 by 2 or 5 square by 2 sin inverse x by a sin inverse x by 5 from where to where from 0 to 5. Observe here applying limit is interesting. See now upper limit minus lower limit. So area is 4 times upper limit in the place of x put 5. So in the place of x if I put 5 here, 5 square minus x square sorry, 5 square minus what x square here. In the place of x, in the place of x put what? Upper limit. Upper limit is what? 5. 0 to 5. Suppose if I put, see, don't put and waste your time. Suppose in this place if I put 0. Suppose here in the place of x if I put 0. Here in the place of x if I put 0. You know, 5 square, sorry. Upper limit. Upper limit is what? 5. 5 square. 5 square minus 5 square. You know, 5 square minus 5 square. This total becomes what? 0. In the place of x put upper limit. Upper limit is 5. 5 square. 5 square minus 5 square is 0. Root 0 is 0. 0 into anything is 0. This term becomes 0. So don't put and waste your time, that's what, just observation is enough. In the place of x you assume 5, so this is 0, this whole thing is 0. I applied upper limit, I got 0. Here, 
here I'll put 5. So this 25 by 2 will be as it is. Sine inverse in the place of x I am putting 5. Sine inverse 5 by 5. This is upper limit minus lower limit. In the place of x put what? 0. So here if I put 0, 0 into anything becomes 0. So sine inverse 0 by anything is 0. The whole thing is 0. So lower limit 0 plus 0. That's it. See, observe carefully before you apply any limit. So don't waste your time on scripting. So lower limit, lower limit is what? 0. Assume in the place of x 0. Here 0 by 2. 0 by 2 is 0. 0 into anything is 0. This is whole thing 0 plus 25 by 2. Let it be sine inverse 0 by 5. 0 by 5 is 0. Sine inverse 0 is also 0. This whole thing is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. That's it. So now simplify 4 times. So we'll have 4 times 25 by 2 sin inverse 1 and 0 you can leave it 4 into 25 by 2 pi by 2. So now 2 1s are 2 2s are 2 2 cancel so it will become 25 pi square units. You know area is 25 pi. I hope all of you understood this. So now we will go to the exercise problems. So in x says find the area of region bounded by ellipse x square by 16 plus y square by 9 equal to 1. So they gave x square by 16. Can I write it as x square by 4 square plus y square by 9. Can I write it as y square by 3 square equal to 1. So now what is the diagram of ellipse. This is the diagram of ellipse. This is x axis. This is y axis and this is the diagram of ellipse. Now this is the center and this is A, here to here length is A means 4, here to here length is B, B means 3. So here to here it is 3, here to here it is 4, this is 4 on x axis. So now I call it as center of ellipse C or O only and say I call this as A, point A, this is point B. Now drawing the ellipse is important, ellipse is center, origin and a value this is in the form of x square by it is in what form x square by a square plus y square by b square. So now I will share this part. If you observe the total area is same as area of O A B O. So now before that first we will see. So from x square by 16 plus y square by 9. I will get the value of y. So transfer this term to that side. So y square by 9 is equal to 1 minus x square by 16. Further take LCM. So it will become 16 minus x square by 16 is y square by 9. So rearrange. When you rearrange, you will get y square is equal to 9 into 16 minus x square by 16. I will write like this. Now y is what root of? Root of 9 by 16 into 16 minus x square. All of you know root 9 is 3, root 16 is 4 and root of this as it is 16 minus x square. This is y. So getting y is also important. We got the value of y. y is what? 3 by 4 root 16 minus x square. And now x varies from 0 to 4. Now see here required area. If I draw the diagram, this is the diagram. This was the ellipse and uh, O, A, B and here x varies from 0 to 4 and required area, can I say required area is equal to required area A is equal to 4 times 4 times O, A, B, O area of O, A, B, O that is 4 times integration of x1 to x2 y dx because area under the curve and x axis this is x axis this is the curve so I am finding just I am finding this area this is O this is A this is B so if I find area of this and we have four equal parts 1 2 3 4 so required area is four times area of this so this is one part this is second part third four so four equal parts are there so required area is four times this area. So in this OABO, 
this is origin 0 here it is a a means 4 here here to here the length is 4 0 to 4 y dx what is the value of y we got 3 by 4 root of 16 minus x square 3 by 4 3 by 4 root of 16 minus x square Dear students, first you should understand the required area. So, if you see, this is a symmetric diagram. I will find only this area and multiply 4 because the ellipse is made up of 4 equal parts. This, 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 this. So, just I will find area of O, A, B, O and I will multiply 4 because I have 4 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now going ahead. So, 4 times, I will take 3 by 4 out. 4 into 3 by 4 out and I will integrate this. You know, integration of this is what x by 2 into root of 16 minus x square as it is then plus a square by 2 a square means 16 by 2 sin inverse x by a a means a square is 16 a is what 4 from where to where 0 to 4 or further if you want to understand better I will write one more step 3 by 4 outside integration of 0 to 4 can I write it as 4 square minus x square dx it is in the form of integration of 0 to 4 root of a square minus x square root of a square minus x square is x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a a means 4 now upper limit minus lower limit so here I can cancel 4 and 4 so required area is 3 times I will apply upper limit means assume x is 4. Suppose here if I assume 4, 4 square is 16. 16 minus 16 becomes 0. So this is 0 plus here I have 16 by 2. You know 16 by 2 is 8. Sign inverse. I am assuming upper limit. Upper limit means in the place of x 4, 4 by 4. So upper limit is done minus lower limit. What is lower limit? Lower limit is 0. In the place of x, if you assume 0, this is 0. 0 by 2 is 0. 0 into anything is 0. Lower limit of this is 0. In between, I have plus this plus sign. Here, if I assume 0, in the place of x, don't write 0 and don't script and waste your time. Lower limit is 0. In the place of x, if I assume 0, 0 by 4 is 0. 0 by 4 is 0. Sign inverse 0 is 0. 0 into anything is 0. Lower limit completely becomes 0. So, 3 times 8 times sin inverse 4 by 4 is 1. Leave this zeros. 8 into sin inverse 1. What is sin inverse 1? Pi by 2. So, now 2 1s are 2 4s are. 4 3s are 12 pi. So, area you got what is the area? 12 pi. Area you got 12 pi. Verify by shortcut. So, shortcut is area of ellipse is AB pi. What is the area of ellipse? AB pi. So now A in this is 4, B in this is 3. So 3 into 4 pi, 12 pi you should get. 3 into 4 pi you should get 12 pi. We got 12 pi. We got what? 12 pi. So this is right answer. So next problem is of the same type. So can I write it as x square by 9, 2 square plus y square by 3 square. So you have A to B 6. Using shortcut you should get 12 pi. 6 to 12 pi is the answer decided. So, and but ellipse diagram, what is the ellipse? So, this ellipse is a vertical ellipse and this is 0, this is A, this is B. Again, I will find same thing, I will find OAB. So, required area, required area A is 4 times area of OABO. That is 4 times. This is area bounded by the curve on what axis? Either x axis or y axis you can do. I will find x axis only. That will be better. Integration of x1 to x2, y dx. You can see x varies from 0 to a. a means small a. That is 0 to this is small a. Small a means 2. 0 to 2. 4 times 0 to 2. And get y from the given equation. So get y from the given equation. So x square by 4 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1. So, y square is equal to, y 9 is 1 minus x square by 4. So, y square is equal to 9 into 4 minus x square. So, y is, take LCM 4, so it will become 9 by 4 under root 4 minus x square. Or you can write 3 by 2 root of 2 square minus x square is y. Now, given required area is what? Integration of 4 times integration of 0 to a. That is 0 to a is what? 2. 
y is what 3 by 2 root of 4 minus x square dx or 2 square minus x square dx only you can write 4 into you can take 3 by 2 after you integrate it will become so x by 2 root of 2 square minus x square plus 2 square by 2 sin inverse of x by 2 from where to where 0 to 2 now 2 1s are 2 2s are 2 3s are 6 and in the place of x assume 2 so only 2 assume another 2 square 2 square minus 2 square is 0 this whole term is 0 plus here if you assume 2 2 square and 2 cancels and you have 2 sin inverse in the place of x i am putting upper limit upper limit is 2 by 2 and upper limit is done now 6 is common for both minus lower limit lower limit in the place of x if you put 0 0 by anything is 0 0 into anything is 0 plus sin inverse 0 by 2 is 0 same like last case so now 6 into 2 you know 2 2 cancels it will become 1 sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 so 2 2 cancels 2 square by 2 yes we have uh, a b pi 6 pi square units and using the shortcut what is the area of ellipse a b pi so a b pi what should be your a b pi 12 pi you should get so somewhere if you have done mistake or if you have left any term you can identify here so 9 by 4 if I take it out it will become 3 by 2 have you taken 3 by 2 yes 4 times 3 by 2 and 4 minus x square 4 can be written as 2 square so 3 by 2 is constant take it out a square x by 2 root of a square minus x square a b pi right a is 2 b is 3 uh, a b pi what is a b pi sorry a is 2 b is 3 sorry what is b b is 3 so b is 3 so it will become 6 pi using shortcut a is 2 b is 3 we should get 6 pi and here also we got a b pi a b pi means 3 into 2 pi that is 6 pi 6 pi is the answer 2 into 3 pi so we also got 6 pi so that's it i hope all of you understood so i have done one circle problem two problems of your textbook and we'll continue with more problems in my next session so till then practice these problems and attend the next session thanks for attending thank you